we get these pre-made foods, we so many people bring a soup bowl to lunch at work, a soup bowl to university. I'm like, how are you full? <laughs> student family welcome back to another video i hope you're all doing well i hope you're all doing good and if you're new here hello my name's kimberly and i hope you subscribe turn your bell notifications on to get notified every single time that i upload and give this video a massive thumbs up to be a part of my weight loss journey channel but as you guys can tell from the title of today's video i'm going to be talking about some fast quick fire weight loss tips now this is part of a series that i do on my channel where i talk to you guys and give you some fast quick tips spice up and keep you motivating i try to make it completely different tips every single time of ones that you have never Never, ever heard before so although it's a series you have not heard these tips from me before now guys don't forget to come over and check out my fitness plans I have officially lost 30 pounds for anyone new here who doesn't know and I've created my fitness plans website where I have high low intensity high fat burning workouts that I use to help me lose 30 pounds in my three months but also meal ideas that really accompanies really good fat burning weight loss and all sorts of things like that because food is so important as well as it's not just workouts it's a 24 7 support community group we have a private Facebook group. You have supporting each other every single day. You have one-to-one -one sessions with me. So it's 24 seven communication with all the members within the group to cheer each other on, to see how everyone else is doing. So do come over and join that if you wanna be part of it and part of your weight loss journey as well to get it kick-started and really, really achieve your results and goals. Now, without further ado, let's jump straight into this video. I'm gonna give you some really good weight loss tips. They're gonna really shift everything for you. If you have found that so far, you have been unsuccessful. So getting straight into it, tip number one, I'm sure you guys have heard people always talk about this, but it's really, really important that you do actually cook your own food. So I'm not just going to say it, I'm going to actually explain to you why. When we get these pre-made foods, we get this pre-made stuff, there is why cooking your own food ends up being significantly better for you. Number one, you can control the quantities. If you've ever bought a sandwich in a shop or bought something in a restaurant, first of all, that sandwich can have way more ham than you're even supposed to. Not only that, but processed food can actually be a really downfall for your weight loss journey. The other thing that accompanies the quantities argument is any sauces, any, you know, heavy carb related stuff, any fast carbs that are added in there. The quantities are not going to be ones that you would actually naturally need to follow, which is the reason why so many people who are on a healthy journey complain about the lack of options because they're not just talking about, oh, it's only a sandwich, but actually when you look at the quantities of the foods that are added in these different things, the quantities of the pasta, the quantities of all these things, the quantities are going to be the difference between you getting good results and getting unsuccessful results. So cooking your food from scratch, every single quantity quantity you've accounted for. There are no hidden sauces, no hidden salts, no hidden sugars, no sweeteners that are 10 letters long. It's really exactly what you wrote is exactly what you're eating. It allows you to master that as well. Becoming good at weight loss is also mastering the food without having to have, you know, this massive qualification, massive degree. You're mastering your own body. I mean, know your body inside and out. Don't always allow, you know, these manufacturers to know it for you because actually they don't know it. They're just adding and adding stuff. Tip number two. Now, I would really emphasize that you guys avoid skipping meals. There's a difference between intermittent fasting, which is something that I heavily used throughout my 30 pound weight loss journey. I can do an entire video on it if you want to know more about intermittent fasting, but actually skipping meals can be very detrimental to you seeing results. Now intermittent fasting is really, really important. It happens in a certain way and that you don't accidentally, you know, eat something halfway through your intermittent journey. That is, you know, food that is off intermittent fasting's chart. It has to all be foods within intermittent fasting standards. The problem with skipping meals is that your body goes into the starvation mode instead of being in a ketosis fasting state. There are two completely different things. When it's in starvation mode, the minute you eat something, again, after that, that might be sugary or highly fatty, your body holds onto it and stores it more so than it would before. And that's what your body kind of does in intermittent fasting. It will hold on and store it onto the food. So that's why in intermittent fasting, it's really important that you're having the right foods so that when your body stores onto it, it's storing onto the right foods that it's gonna keep it sustained throughout your entire a fasting window even if that's an 18 hour fasting window but if you're skipping meals it's going to hold on to the last bit of thing that you ate which means your fat burning process is slowing down they're two very completely different things it's really really important that you keep yourself nourished but also it doesn't make you have this huge urge to want to then have a massive meal because you're making up for the hunger that you've been feeling all day or the hunger that you've been feeling because of skipping that meal it can be a huge detrimental to a weight loss journey i've done it so many times where i've forgotten my lunch for 
work and I've thought, oh, you know, I'm eating healthy anyway. Like, I've forgotten my lunch. I'll just eat and make up for it when I get home. When you get home, your stomach at this point is so hungry, you caused your stress levels to rise and that cortisol has created that extra hunger within your body. You're going to go and have a massive meal when you get home or even you won't even make it home on the way home. You're gonna stop through McDonald's, you're gonna stop through a supermarket and grab a, a really bad snack that you weren't supposed to have anyway. So it's really, really important to differentiate the difference between skipping meals versus being an actually intermittent fasted ketosis fasted state. Now I'm sure you guys are aware of this phenomenon that a lot of gym people eat three to four to five to even sometimes six eggs for breakfast. Now although I'm not recommended you eat six eggs for breakfast every single day because remember cholesterol so egg whites can sometimes be a fantastic alternative. However I want to actually tell you the science behind eggs and the reason why it's better to have eggs for breakfast than a grain based breakfast. Now eggs can lead to a better satiety which means you're less likely to reach for snacks later on. Now satiety is so important especially first thing in the morning so you're not offsetting cravings. So the minute we get to school, the minute get, we get to work, the minute we get to busy environments especially if you're starting your day early in the morning can really ignite our stress levels and ignite that cortisol. That cortisol is what creates that hunger based off of the stress hormone. So it's really really important that you're eating something to satiety first thing in the morning. Tip number five, actually having meals that have a lot of water is going to be a fantastic hack. I don't know about you guys but I've always been iffy about soup and how soup doesn't actually fill me up. So many people will bring a soup bowl to lunch at work, a soup bowl to university. I'm like how are you full? Like how has that actually made you full? But actually you can make your soups really really thick but the water is still absorbed in there. Now the really good importance of this it keeps you fuller for longer the more water that you're consuming alongside your meal whether it's in bottle form or in your food hidden in your food has that elements to keep you full. Hack on that for people who don't end up feeling full on soup because you can have a tiny bit of bread to dip in your soup and be sustained and that not offset your insulin and make you hungry and have cravings but also you can make your soup thicker but in a squash soup, potato soup, all these things can really be substantial for the end result. You can even have a few dumplings in there, go crazy, go wild and it will still be good for you, still be fine. Now watch the amount of nuts and oils and seeds that you can eat. Remember that when you take this tiny, this tiny portion of seeds in the pit of your hand there, how much it adds up not only calories, fat wise and although these foods are really really good, you have to really have them in small quantities. I see people snacking on a whole bag of nuts thinking they're on a healthy eating journey and I'm like that's not quite how it works, it still adds up, it is still its own end element, if it says it's high fat it is still high fat, it's just that it works a lot different to other types of fat but it will still add up so just be wary of it but they are very good to have but just be very very wary of it that a whole bag of nuts and seeds is not going to be doing it for you. Last but not least the final tip is to get support from your friends and family. This is so important on a weight loss journey because when we're gaining weight we feel all alone, we're dealing with our emotions and our stress and our day to days by ourselves so we resort to eating but actually having a community around you is so important which is why my weight loss program is so incredible because it's a 24 7 community of people to support you who are on the exact same journey as you. Not only that but I get to actually support every single one of you guys individually to get to your goals. If you're having a good week, a bad week, something hasn't worked for you, talk to me about it and we'll see how the program, the fit or the workouts can really really help you. So the community is so so important because when we're alone, feeling like we're going through it alone, we've had a really really bad week in our weight loss journey. Sometimes we feel like our friends and family aren't really supportive of it or they just don't want to hear. So this, this network is absolutely fantastic to get your results and to keep on going. Now guys don't forget to come over and follow my inspirational fitness page on Instagram where you get a more behind the scenes of my day to day life. But also come over and follow my personal Instagram page as well. Now I love you guys so much. Do subscribe, comment and join this weight loss family by subscribing and liking this video. Now I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys very very soon. Bye guys!